This past year was filled with great achievements, fantastic tournaments and new beginnings. I am out here at Bannister Park, the new and improved home of Baseball Queensland. We've all put our heart and soul into building a better future for baseball and we have a few things we'd like to show you. The state titles are an exciting time of year where athletes from around our great state join forces to compete against each other. Baseball Queensland had over 260 participants across the 19 teams that played in the combined state title competitions. Gold Coast won both the Little League state titles in Cairns as well as the Senior League state titles in Redcliffe. Brisbane North, Far North Coast and Brisbane Metro all qualified for the Junior League Nationals with Far North Coast qualifying for the Senior League National Championships. The Brisbane Bandits were the talk of the town after winning their third consecutive Claxton Shield. After taking on the Canberra Cavalry in a tense three game series, the team pulls together with their offensive dominance and sharp defensive skills to win the Claxton Shield. But as we near closer to the beginning of the new season, the stakes are raised as the team strives to make history once again by winning their fourth championship title. Led by Baseball Queensland's high performance manager and Team Australia head coach, David Nielsen, this season will be one for the books. The annual Timberjacks tournament was held in Lismore in July with a great turnout from Queensland athletes participating in the friendly tournament. This tournament marks the first time two female teams have been entered into the competition, sparking a revamp in women and girls participation rates through club ball. Baseball Queensland would like to say thank you to all of our members for sharing the same vision of building a better future for baseball. We can't wait to grow the game with you over the next year.